So, why did I choose to study the Bachelor of Creative Technologies? To answer this question, I think we need to go back to the very beginning. When I was a child, my dream job was to become an inventor. I'd watch Wallace and Gromit hack away in their garage and literally build a rocket that could take them to the moon. Not the most realistic thing, but it didn't really matter to me as a child. Watching them work with their hands, think creatively, and do something great using technology was enough to spark the imagination within me and go, you know what, that's something that I'd like to do. Then there was Steve Jobs. I was enthralled by his ability to captivate an audience and get them as excited as he was about whatever cutting edge product it was that he was unveiling. In his biography, he mentions that technology alone isn't enough, and it was the marriage between technology and the liberal arts that gave Apple their edge. Other tech companies hadn't mixed arts and technology in that way before, and evidently it worked out pretty well for Apple. This is a similar view to the one expressed by Rich Gold in his book, The Plentitude, where he discusses the importance of the art, design, science, and engineering fields converging in order to yield better results and avoid becoming just commodities. Rich writes, design without art or engineering without science both quickly asymptote to a commodity. And in the globalized world, if you're merely producing a commodity, you're dead. So the idea that technology and creativity could both synergize to produce something better than either field on its own has been an idea that's been present with me for quite a while. So when I saw that there was a degree out there that deals with this topic head on, it kind of became a no brainer. So what do I expect from this degree? Well, the first most obvious thing has to be the convergence of multiple disciplines. You know, exploring the fields of creative arts, design, computing, engineering, and entrepreneurship, and learning how to use these disciplines in conjunction to create products and solutions that wouldn't otherwise be possible when confined to just one of them. Secondly is the growth mindset. Already my expectations have been subverted with programming, which I was pretty nervous about before starting since I had literally no experience with it beforehand, but it's fast becoming one of my favorite parts of the degree. We're encouraged to play or tinker with whatever we're learning, and this facilitates a non-intimidating learning environment, which is perfect for me in coding. I'm also very excited to tackle the practical part of this degree, which is an area that I'm not incredibly familiar with, but want to become more proficient at. The collaborative studio environment of this degree will expose me to people from differing backgrounds with different skill sets, and encourage us to be more accepting of new ideas, which will prevent confirmation biases and promote bothness. This degree also focuses on the wicked problems, which includes the potential negative aspects of technology. It pushes us to use lateral thinking to consider all sides of the equation. Yes, technology is great, but we also have to be conscious and prepared for the drawbacks, such as the e-waste or privacy concerns associated with social media. However, these wicked problems also present the opportunity to construct solutions using the creative design methods and ways of thinking developed in this degree. Necessity, after all, is the mother of invention, and I expect that saying to be used quite a lot in this degree. Technology has always been embedded in the history of humanity. From the first tools being developed by our ancestors three million years ago, to the industrial revolution of the late 1700s, to the more recent evolution of smart devices and virtual reality. Every advancement that has been made has come from a creative solution to an existing problem. So I'd argue that creative technology has been around for as long as mankind. As an academic field, however, it's still in its infancy. The University of Southern California was the first academic institution to introduce the creative technologies as a discipline in 1999, with this program being established not long after 2008. But as a concept as a whole, I believe creative technologies have and will continue to be around for as long as mankind, and maybe even longer. On the creative side of things, I'd have to say my favorite aspect of that is the performance side. You know, I love acting, and consequently films, television shows, plays, anything with a visual medium. So pursuing something like motion capture or the world of VR and interactive games would be a great way of combining these different aspects of my life. However, I have no doubt that within the next three years, I'll be exposed to more fields that capture my interest and further guide my future career. All in all, I'm excited to be at the precipice of the technological age and look forward to learning new things, collaborating with others, and using the ever evolving tools and ways of thinking to hopefully change the world for the better. So yeah, that's my vlog. Thank you so much for listening and I hope you Whoever's marking this has a wonderful day. Peace out. <laughs>